Nacho rain is commonly used to mean the deposition of acidic components in rain, snow, dew, or dry particles. The correct term is acid precipitation. Acid rain occurs when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are emitted into the atmosphere. They then undergo chemical transformations and are absorbed by water droplets and clouds. The droplets then fall to earth as rain, snow, mist, dry dust, hail, or sleet. This increases the acidity of the soil and affects the chemical balance of lakes and other bodies of Acid rain is defined as any type of precipitation with a pH that is unusually lower than 7. Acid rain accelerates weathering in carbonate rocks and buildings. When the acid builds up in rivers and streams, it can kill fish, and in forests, it can kill trees. Human emissions is the principal cause of acid rain along with sulfuric and nitrogen compounds from human sources, such as electricity generation, factories, and motor vehicles. The gases can be carried hundreds of miles in the atmosphere before they are converted to acids and, deposit and deposited. Natural emissions is caused by acid-producing gases to the atmosphere, such as emissions from volcanoes and those from biological processes that occur on the land, in wetlands, and in oceans. When trees have been exposed to acid rain, they eventually lose their leaves. <laughs> They eventually die, which is very bad for the environment. Trees breathe in the carbon dioxide that we exhale, and from that, they produce oxygen, something essential to human life. Without trees, we would not be here today. There are many things that we can do to prevent acid rain. Simple things, like planting more trees, will help decrease the amount of acid rain and increase the amount of oxygen in the air. Many trees die each year because they are very sensitive to a low pH caused by acid rain. If chemical waste were required to be neutralized before disposal, the amount of acid rain all over the world would dramatically decrease. Also, alternative methods of energy such as hydrogen fuels, solar, and wind energy could, would decrease the amount of oil being used and help the environment in a great way.